Yoshi's Crafted World is just a few days away, and this is Nintendo's big title between forever ago and E3. So we're really hoping that it's really good, and a lot of reviews are out there, Gabe, and it's actually looking pretty promising. The meta score currently on Metacritic sits at an 80, and I'm pretty surprised to see a number of really high scores, and even from the more prominent websites, places like Game Informer, IGN, Destructoid, they kind of really like the game. Yeah, I'm really happy to see this. I think it is really fun to know that currently Crafted World sits higher than Star Allies as far as reviews. Star Allies has a 73, and since they are very similar in style, it's fun to compare them. Yes, indeed. Now, a couple uh, quotes that I want to pull here, and definitely let us know how hyped you are for Yoshi's Crafted World in the comments down below. Gabe, I'm going to gauge your barometer uh, in a little bit here, but Eurogamer, who hasn't assessed uh, a full score yet, says that this is Goodfeel's best game yet. Now, they have done Kirby's Epic Yarn, Yoshi's Woolly World. They were obviously on the uh, Woolly World 3DS port and the Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn 3DS port. Crafted World, they say, is their best game, which has me hyped, but at the same time, you then have other reviews that point out that there aren't a whole lot of surprises. IGN came in with a 78, but they do say that it doesn't really take advantage of its most clever ideas and doesn't really put forth a ton of challenge until the last few levels. Yeah, I mean, I never expected a ton of challenge. I go to Donkey Kong, right, for, for that when it comes to my Nintendo platformers. I wasn't expecting that from Yoshi. I just expect a fun time with co-op, honestly, and uh, having to collect all of the collectibles in each of the levels, that is a little bit more challenging. So that is what I'm gonna be looking forward to. Is there any other reviews here that kind of stand out to you a little bit? I mean, the general consensus is that it's like oozing with charm and that it's like disgustingly cute in like the best way possible. Twinfinite says, Crafted World may fall into being one of the most entertaining and visually appealing games that the Switch has to offer. And honestly, these are a lot of like similar type things we heard about Kirby. They're like just a, a really gorgeous game. It's so fun to behold and acquiring the new powers is always charming. I would say that Yoshi maybe is scoring higher because of the fact that the crafted gimmick is, is different and so it provides maybe more flair than star allies which kind of just resided in the, the typical kirby landscape but it is worth noting also that kirby star allies did a lot post-launch to really shore up um a lot of issues with that game and bringing more content and giving people more options for the multiplayer different things to do like a solo mode where you can switch between the allies a lot of good stuff going on and here Yoshi's Crafted World, I don't know if they have any plans for that. Maybe the base game is good enough to do without, but it'll be interesting to see if they do choose to expand and extend upon the framework, because it does sound like as the game progresses, people liked it more and more. I think just the concept of Star Allies definitely lend itself more to DLC, a little bit better than, than Yoshi is going to. So I don't know if they'll have uh, quite that level of support, but I mean, it does bear the thought like, hey, where is Yoshi's Crafted World going to basically fit when it comes to the pillar of uh, Nintendo Switch, right? Like we rank all these games, Kirby, Star yeah. Allies probably isn't anywhere near the top. So I wonder if Yoshi's gonna be higher than that or you know, if it's gonna be like sort of like middle of the road. I'm interested to see uh, once it's all said and done where it ends up. The Games Machine had a good quote. They gave it a nine and said, Yoshi's Crafted World is a window into the mind of a child. And that made me think that we've got this game on the 29th. We've got Labo VR on April 12th. They are really focusing on that younger audience leading up to E3. And then if they are to launch a Switch Lite, a Switch Mini that again emphasizes the younger audience, it's really a, a push for that right now and getting some games, I think, even if you look back, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, in spite of the challenge mode that was our favorite aspect, that could be considered a game for a younger audience, more of the beginner Mario fan that prefers the 2D side-scrolling style. They're kind of laying the groundwork for a lot of family-friendly experiences. We can even trace this back to Super Mario Party, which has become one of their really great sellers. There's a lot going for them in that venue, and I think it just makes even more sense why we are going to be getting a kid-proof Switch Mini at some point in 2019. Yeah, I was worried that Yoshi maybe just wouldn't review as well because we had heard that it was a little uninspired and, and stuff like that just from, you know, a couple people that had played the game. So I'm glad that it's doing well and this does make me more excited. We're going to get to play it here in a couple of days, Zach, and uh, 
are you excited I, i'm curious just because i i know that maybe yoshi isn't your like favorite like Nintendo. i mean i'd be lying if i said it was mine too but are you yeah. like hyped for it at all i mean yoshi's island is a, a classic in my mind and sure. i wish that this game was more akin to that uh, i was reading through a reviewer they're like this is not anything like Yoshi's Island. So if you if you of think about not. Yoshi from yeah. yesteryear, it's not. And that's that's fine. That's obvious. I like these games for the creativity. And I guess I would say that the reviews, while I'm glad they're high, they kind of don't mess with my hype level at all. Because they're saying exactly like what I believe the game to be. It's charming. It, it's very kid-friendly. It's gorgeous. They do a lot of just like cute things that'll make you smile. There's nothing in these reviews that says, oh my god, there's also this side of it, or oh, actually, it's really challenging, or this is one of Nintendo's best. It it just is a very good execution of what it was supposed to be. And, and that's, you know, that's good, but it really, like, if I happened to be at PAX East and wasn't able to play Yoshi's Crafted World on launch, Day, that would be okay yeah nintendo is good at really good execution like at the very least sometimes their games are just like too like boringly good because they hit everything they need to hit in, in the exact manner they need to hit it and you know sort of doing anything crazy or different it isn't in their wheelhouse especially for yoshi at least lately right because you, you do mention that yoshi has some classics under his belt uh did you know that yoshi wore a belt that, that's another question <laughs> I mean, it's it's an interesting juxtaposition because the games I've been playing as of late, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, insanely challenging. The Division 2 focused on, you know, loot grinding and, and just constant action and always something to do. Ape Out, like a really minimalist game but that still has like white knuckle challenge and you're just racing to get to the end. The Verge sums it up nicely. They say, platforming games like this are often built around challenge and inventive design. And while Crafted World has some of this, mostly it's just a really pleasant place to be. And I think that will separate Yoshi from a lot of the recent releases surrounding it on other platforms and from other publishers as just a pleasant place to be. This isn't going to be a game I think that goes down as one of anyone's all-time favorites, but it might be a nice diversion on Switch while we wait for E3. Yeah, I have to agree with you. So, good reviews not really moving our meters all that much. Let us know how you feel about Yoshi's Crafted World and its scores in the comments down below. Has this changed your anticipation for the game? I'd say Gabe and I are probably sitting a little bit around average anticipation, but where are you and have the positive reviews uh, tweaked your expectations or not? Let us know. Make sure that like button if you enjoyed the video. We will be bringing you Yoshi's Crafted World coverage as soon as the game drops in a couple days here. Until that time though, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Fantastic day. For myself and Gabe, Switch Force, out.